GTA 5 Online has changed quite a bit since I started in 2013 and in this video we're going to do a rags to riches grind, getting ourselves some nice vehicles, properties, businesses, how to run them really quickly and just trying to get as much money as possible in a few days. So this is going to be the first day of the series and we're going to be doing this on the expanded and enhanced variant as you guys voted. That's got what you guys wanted to see and in the expanded enhanced edition you end up getting an extra 4 million to start out with. You don't get to spend it on whatever you want but you do get to pick a category i ended up picking the executive with this run through last time i did the nightclub and i think the executive is going to give us a fresh new look on the game so if you guys want to do exactly as i'm doing and copy me i went ahead and went with the maze bank west office the cheapest variant for one million dollars then for my warehouse i went with the back lot location for nine hundred two thousand dollars this is a very good location as it's really close to maze bank west so if you're wondering why i picked the medium crate warehouse that's why because it was really close to my maze bank west location and it's going to give me the best bank for my buck as well as for the vehicle i did go with the hayakucho drag and I completely understand if you don't want to pick this vehicle because it's not the best vehicle for many players as the Night Shark is available to you guys. But the truth of the matter is I'm going to pay off this vehicle within four weeks. I know we're not going to be playing probably that long for the series, but in the long run, I think that's best for many players, especially if you're decent at driving. So definitely I went with the Hayakucho Drag and you'll see why here in a bit throughout the guide. As well as I went with seven weapons. Now, if you want to know what weapons I picked, I picked like the cheapest weapons. I probably picked up the bullet rifle and stuff like that it really doesn't matter as long as you get the homing launcher other than that you can get whatever you want and it works out that i end up having almost a million dollars remaining the reason why it doesn't matter what weapons you get is that at the end of the day you're going to end up buying weapons in this guide with me so let's go ahead and build my character for my character i figured out i think this is what i ended up doing for my very first build my mom is evelyn and i have the joshua as my father and i have like about a 50 50 mix i think i end up doing my dad a little bit more than my mother in the very end but other than that i changed my nose because my nose i do not like it so i need to change that tighten it up a little bit make it small and then we'll take a look at the character creator here this is really important for you guys to take a look at you'll see here i maxed out my stamina that's super important i think you guys should all do that maxed out my driving and my shooting and then the rest I kind of just divvied up. I put a little bit into flying. Now I'll be honest with you guys, if I could go back, I probably wouldn't have driving fully maxed because I maxed out my driving really quick, driving the Hayakucho Drag. So in my opinion, I probably would max out my shooting and put a little bit more in flying, maybe mix it up a little bit. I wouldn't put any in stealth and I wouldn't put any in lung capacity because chances of you guys using that at the beginning of the game is very low. So I named my character LSG 2023. Let's get started with this regs to riches grind so you guys are going to spawn in here at the police station you're going to run over here to the left and your vehicle will be here it's not going to show it to you guys but you guys can like kind of speed run this with me i end up going on the vehicle setting my waypoint to where i need to go and that's to go see lamar and lamar has like a whole bunch of weapons stashed there for you guys which is really nice you're going to go ahead pick up those weapons and then there's going to be a few targets you need to take out you're going to go ahead and take out those targets and then you're going to leave the area and eventually your assistant is going to call you you're going to go over here and go to your office they're going to give you a quick little rundown on how to run the office you guys can go ahead and watch that but eventually i end up going inside my office and going to the desk registering as ceo and then i do and follow what my assistant asks me to do and that is to source a crate so to do that i went in there went to special cargo and then clicked source crate there's only one option for the tutorial and then eventually you go ahead grab the van and bring it back to your special cargo warehouse now here is where all your warehouse stuff is going to be stored they're going to give you a little guide here but i'm not going to go through that too much simply as soon as i spawn in there i'm level five already i'm going to go and talk to this nice lady in the back i'm going to give her seven thousand five hundred dollars of my money and she's going to go ahead and source a crate for me she might source one or two or three crates it's random most likely only going to source one and i go ahead and check out the computer i recommend you guys go ahead and do that as well see how much your stuff's worth and how far you've come along already so once you've delivered the crate to the warehouse you're going to leave there and i set a waypoint to this little car icon with an h on it this is house time trial you're going to head on over here you're going to go into the circle and open house garage and pretty much you're going to find this beautiful whip inside of this garage and honestly the handling on this thing completely sucks especially if you're a new player so this might take you a few attempts but pretty much you need to beat his time trial if you don't beat this time trial, just close out and try again. 
until you beat the time trial. Honestly, I crossed like six, seven times, like really hard and still beat the part time with ease. So you shouldn't have too much of a problem. I beat it by almost two minutes with crashing that many times. So you guys shouldn't struggle too hard with this. Just if you crash once or twice, it's no big deal. Just keep going. And then if you get to the end and you completely have wiped out to the point where you can't beat it, then just restart, don't finish it. Beat the part time, you'll see in the bottom left hand corner, I get a how special works upgrade. So I'm gonna go here on the map. It's right in front of me where you spawn. It's the LS Carmi, the Los Santos Carmi area. You're gonna go in here and you're gonna go through a cutscene. You're gonna meet a girl named Mimi. She gonna bless you up after here. You're gonna go ahead and buy a membership from her. And this costs $50,000. I know we're spending a lot of money and we're not making a lot of money, but we're just setting ourselves up for success in the future. Then we're gonna go on our motorbike, select the vehicle options, and we're gonna end up in house workshop. And from here, we're gonna upgrade. We're not gonna pay for any like the tuning engine upgrades or anything like that, just the base upgrade. That's enough of an upgrade for you guys because these upgrades are expensive. You're looking at 60,000, 80,000, like 100,000 for some of these upgrades. And that's very, very expensive. So from here, we're gonna go and find this time trial. So the time trial might be different for you guys, obviously, because the time trial resets every week, but this system is very similar every single time. You're gonna go over to the time trial. You're gonna start the time trial, then place your waypoint on the destination and then you're going to try to probably most likely follow the waypoint not always but you're going to follow the waypoint and get to destination as fast as possible beating the part time now if you guys have a different time trial that's okay you guys can check out my weekly video i post a weekly video on how to beat the time trials and all the money making methods every single week every thursday so you guys can check that out to stay up to date on how to beat these time trials so for this time trial it was really easy on this bike i had like an extra like 20 seconds or something ridiculous like that so you guys will be able to go ahead and beat this and if you beat this you'll rank up pretty much and then on top of it get two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so we've already made about a quarter of our money back went ahead and went over to ron over here and ron has the first dose mission welcome to the trope there's a little r icon on the map it's outside of like of a little liquor store here and you're gonna go be put through a cut scene you're gonna meet a whole bunch of cool characters and from there you're gonna have to complete a mission so the missions don't pay that much you'll see here i only get paid around fifteen thousand dollars and a little bit of rp but you'll notice right after that cutscene i got paid an extra fifty thousand dollars on top of that so i didn't notice this till after which was kind of crazy so i'm getting paid sixty five thousand dollars to do these missions in the end so not bad at all and then from there i end my little session here i go ahead and go to the casino i get put through a cutscene, and then i went and bought a membership from tom here and then i spun the wheel I ended up only getting a little bit of rp which kind of sucked so once i took about an hour break played with some friends got some food or whatever i came back with a fresh set of eyes because i started getting a little bit drained of playing the game but for those that are new you're going to probably play straight through from here i went back to my ceo office i, I topped up on my snacks at my assistant here talked to my assistant and then i exported mixed goods and pretty much every time you export mixed goods you're going to go ahead and talk to your assistant and you just have to go to your warehouse and drive it to the docks and here you're going to get paid fifty thousand dollars and quite a bit of rp which is not bad for a little mission it takes like three minutes to complete this is really really good payout then after that i went to my freak shop now that we have that kind of unlocked, I set my spawn point to all these locations or the closest location possible and just click invite only so I don't have to drive there every single time. And I went here and I bought some weapons. So I ended up buying the special carbon rifle and the combat MG. Now I know we're spending money here, but the combat MG is absolutely lethal, especially with that extended clip. So definitely get the extended clip. From there, we went outside to the freak shop and we just completed first dose missions back to back to back. Literally just kept doing this. You'll see I get the payout for the 15K and then on top of it, I get an extra 50K and I keep doing this. I did not stop doing this. I pretty much did this straight until I got to the last mission, which is off the rails. I'm going to show you guys the path I take here to take out the targets. I'll probably speed it up so you guys don't have to like watch the whole thing in case you guys struggle with this. I use the silenced pistol, so if you don't have a pistol with a silencer on it, go get the silencer. And then you guys go ahead and follow the path I'm taking. I was a little bit extra with the amount of targets I've taken out. You didn't have to take out a lot of those targets, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. And by the end of the mission, I end up driving a 6x6 brigade back to the warehouse and end up getting another $10,000. So that's not bad at all. And to be honest with you guys, 
At the end of this mission, you get a crazy award of $250,000 for completing this. So I think all in, there's five missions at $50,000. You're looking at about $250,000 there and then another two hundred fifty. dollars So you're looking at $500,000 for completing these missions, which is absolutely ridiculous, guys. You guys are making a lot of money for completing these little bit of missions. And not only that, you saved yourself $1.5 million dollars on that six by six brocade almost 1.5 million dollars on that six by six brocade because now it's inside of your freak shop and when you go in there you'll notice it's in there and you can upgrade it i didn't actually end up installing the lab equipment right away i kind of thought about it i went and i think like i just drove around for a bit thinking i was going to do something else but eventually i decided to go back and invest the seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars even though i'm not going to use it right now it sets me up for the future and i'm okay with spending seven hundred fifty thousand so i went ahead and upgraded it and you'll see here i look at the upgrades and to get the upgrade i have to call dax and complete 10 of his jobs or work so at this point i go ahead and call dax and i get some of his work done and I get one of his missions done and you'll see here he pays out pretty well he pays me fifty thousand dollars for completing this but you'll also see you can't go ahead and complete another one for another 48 minutes it's at a 48 minute cooldown guys which really sucks so in the meantime during that 48 minutes I need to fill up my time so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the CEO office and request some special cargo crates and I always request three crates at a time I understand that doing one or two crates might be less stressful but it's not the best bet for your buck so if you can request three crates for the eighteen thousand dollars you'll save yourself a lot of time and stress so i simply go ahead and do that and then by the time i'm done doing that i realize i have a cooldown to burn off it's only two minutes which isn't a big deal but i don't want to be wasting time here so i go ahead and export mixed goods earning myself another fifty thousand dollars then i kind of go on a little grind here i go ahead and do another three crates buying special cargo crates sourcing those for myself and then i go ahead and source another set of crates after that and then i go ahead and source another set of crates after that continuing this grind over and over again and eventually i figure out i can just go to the helipad which is right across from my apartment area i'll mark it on the map for you guys here and there's a helicopter there, so I don't have to actually drive there and back, which saves me a lot of time. And by now, and 48 minutes has passed, so I call up Dax, hit him up, and then go ahead and request more work. I complete his mission and get myself another $50,000. At this point, I'm almost level 17. After that, I, again, I go ahead and complete another special cargo crate. So as I said, I kind of grind these out for a little while, and then eventually I kind of get bored. And this is where I kind of end off my day. I go ahead and go to the M on the map and I go and ask her for a bounty. Go into my text. You'll see she texts you letting you know she's going to send you a bounty. I wait for her to send me the details like she says she's going to. And then I go ahead and take my first bounty back to her. Now in the future, I probably won't take the bounty back to her because I don't think it's worth the $10,000 for my time. But for those that want to do that, by all means, you can. Next time, I'll probably just eliminate the bounty. So that concludes the first day of my Rags Riches. So overall, I think this first day has been quite successful. I haven't really lost any money at the end of the day. It's all invested and I'm going to complete this next challenge coming up. So hopefully you guys follow along and are able to make some money in GTA 5 online with this Rags to Riches guide. If you like the video, please do check out the next one. Consider dropping a like and subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.